doing is I'm just taking the fingers apart so I can grind the tips of them down. And then I will probably attempt to make blades for this thing. Probably copy that. And what I did was, I don't know if I showed in the other one, but if you look, I don't know if you can see that. I pounded a number three in there. And I pounded a number three in, in there. I don't know if you can see it. But basically, I wanted to know which ones stayed together because I kind of just made them, made the fit. So I wanted to number them, so I numbered them all. And I also numbered it on the back side here. One, two, three. Number four is over here. It's just, or zero, one, two, three. I should put a zero on there. So yeah, and basically I'm going to try to get little, little pointy nubs on there. That's the plan. Anyway, so I'll, I'll just do the other video. Let me make one big one video. Like, subscribe, check out the folks in the bottom, and uh, thanks for watching. Awesome. This damn thing off, Christ. Hello, YouTube. It's me again. I'm just working on these Freddy Krueger gloves. I'm putting a... What do you call it? What is that there? Um, Christ, I can't even remember. The little um, spots where you start to drill. What the hell is that called? I don't remember. I don't remember. Sing that song. I don't remember. I don't recall. Dun, 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 dun. Now I'm going to drill a hole through it. <clears throat> and get the holes in the plate. See, because there's, on here, there's three other rivet holes. Next, what I'm going to do is weld these on. And then, I'll do, I'm going to do the welding this weekend. Because... I only weld on weekends for some reason. Is it pilot hole? No, not pilot hole. What the hell is that called again? I don't know. Is it called a start button? I don't know. All right. That's done. You better. Good part about me using a file on this thing is that it looks rough. It looks. Does that look Freddy Krueger enough to you? <clears throat> I don't even think I'm gonna paint this thing. It's so like crude looking. It's kind of funny. Crude looking. Alrighty, alrighty. This plate is done. <coughs> I gotta figure out how I'm gonna... I might just bang these together and make them pointy. And I might use this as the first sample, because... Yeah, I think I'm gonna try this. So let me try this out here. Take the Clico off. If you don't have Clicos, you really should get some. I forgot I even had them, too. I haven't used them in a while. Let me bang this a little here. Let me get it to go a little more. Let's see. Let's see if I can get it to man up a little here. There we go. That one in there. <clears throat> I bought these online. I think I, I think I bought them on eBay years ago. All right, let's see. See, they got to turn better than this, so it means something's got to give here. They got to still line up, but they got to be able to spin a little better. They got to be real loose, basically. So what I'm going to do is. That seems a lot better. Question is, will the holes line up now? Come on, here we go. There's one. 
Let's play the Clico game. See, that's a little better. I think this outside one's got to come out. That's why it's... When I did this one, it wasn't... When I did that one, it wasn't straight. So, my bad. So, I think this side's got to be murdered out a little more. Because it's pulling it in there, so... But then again, <clears throat> it might be the Clico's pulling too, too far. So, I wonder if I just... I don't know. Maybe when I bang a rivet in there, it'll be less. Let's see, what if I get that? Where's that little rivet I have? I had some rivets just to test it. Of course, where the hell did they go? There's one. Sample rivets, where are you? Where'd the wee rivets go? Where'd the wee rivets go? Hi ho, hi ho. Where'd the wee rivets go? Let's see now, sample plan here. These are aluminum rivets, I'm not using aluminum. I'm gonna use metal ones. Metal ones. Let's see, so if I put a rivet in here. That way, I put another one in here. I just wanna know that when it goes in, see, I need some flop to it. <clears throat> and I'm thinking since this one's bent, this one's going to go on this side, right here, but this is a number, a number three, this, what number did I bang into here? Oh no, this is the non-number one. This is one and one, this is two, this is three. <clears throat> so anyway, now I know that. So now, what I'm going to do is... See, this is like a point. I might just mash it together with a hammer and then just grind it off. Of course, I'm not going to use my bare hand to hold it because that's how you lose a figure. All right, let me get back to this. Again, I'm going to put this on a board so I can bring it up to the camera and show you. This is the mock up of the rivets. I don't know if you can see this and how well you can see it, but if you look at it, I just pinned the rivets in it, and that's my, uh, so far, that's what I got, and this is, oops, that's what I started with. So if you look at this, and then I got to make blades for it. Pretty cool, huh? So yeah, this uh, on a segment I'll put in one of the end of my videos, but yeah, that's what I got so far. Next, the last thing I got to do, like I said previous, I got to weld little tabs on here. So I'm going to cut a bunch of big long strips, flatten them out, round them, and just tack weld them in there. Maybe I'll spot weld them. I don't know if I can. Anyway, hope you liked the video. Keep watching.